Hi, this is Kirk with Forex Trading Secrets. And what we're going to be doing is talking about uh, roundtable trading. And I think uh, Jed sent out the email. He had it, uh, it said something about recession proof your trading. Well, this uh, applies to both instances because it's the roundtable area that you would learn how to trade to be able to help you be consistent in all markets. So we're looking for people that want to be part of our roundtable trading group, and they'll be known as team traders and be able to multiply their income faster than if they were just trading by themselves. <clears throat> what is the roundtable? Well, it is traders are going to be grouped into team uh, to a team of three to five members, and each trader will have a master account and a slave account. We'll explain this a little bit uh, more in just a, a few slides. Each trader trades their master account all trades are copied to their slave account. So we'll explain that. By trading the 1551 trading trading strategy, each trader will shoot for an average of 20 pips per day for the week. So that would be an average. You might be more than that some days or less than that other days. That's kind of a benchmark we'd like to at least shoot for. They each earn the total pip count for the whole group in their slave account gaining a larger market share as a team than they would if they're doing doing it individually. They'll be receiving coaching, training, hand-holding, uh, group collaboration, all the help that anyone would need uh, along the way. So here's the concept. We talked about having a master account and a slave account. Now, each of these top accounts would be a master account, and they're traded. Each individual trader that's assigned to this group would be trading their own account. All the trades that were taken in each of their individual accounts are copied to what we call a hub account. Then they can attach a second account, and this is where you're going to be making the money is in this uh, account. So you have the slave account, then all the trades from each of these five traders would be copied to each individual uh, slave account. Now, there might be some traders that uh, have a negative one day and others have positives, but it's the average of whatever is taken, positive or negative. So that's the concept that we're uh, putting together. So why and how does this work? Well, let's take uh, three traders each, making 20 pips a day. That would be 60 pips. And here's another example. We've got trader one, two, and three. Now, let's say this is uh, three different uh, days of, of activity just to – Let's just see what's uh, taking place here. A total of 78 pips. And then this, uh, these are the same traders. And notice the difference of the pip counts for that day. And the next day, it's different. These are things that actually have come close to happening like this. These are not real numbers, but these are examples of uh, what it uh, turns out to be sometimes. And you can see that all the numbers are changing every day because not everyone gets the same number of pips every day. You're not exactly 20 pips. So you've all traded enough to know that, that your pip counts are different each day. So here are some examples of actual traders. Now, they're each trading their one pair each, and they did that one pair exclusively. They didn't uh, switch on the days that they took these uh, examples. So an example here is a total of 55 pips. But you notice that uh, it was positive, positive, positive just getting out, just taking these little moves, not adding on. Right here, there was a negative, but it was a minus, uh, small minus, positive, small minus, small minus, then another uh, trade. This looks like it might be a, a news announcement. Signal said to get in. They jumped in and took out a quick 16 pips on that trade. Now this trade, is, there was one big trade, and then in the middle of that, another small trade on that same account for some pips. And then here's a trade. There's a couple of different examples here. There was a trade, and they got out. And then they got back in. And then here they get in, added on, and then both close both those trades together, and then another trade. So that's uh, another 37 pips on that one. So that's an example how traders can trade. Once you, you, you find a trend, you could uh, stay in and maybe uh, have received the full amount of pips or more by just staying in. This is what one trader would do by themselves. We saw three different examples of what they would do by themselves. 
these traders were trading in the European session and the U.S. session when these trades were taken. Now, if these three traders were on the same team, the total pips for that day would be 122 pips. And then if you added a, a fourth trader, but that trader only did 15 pips, that would bring it up to 137 for that day. So if you have a few more traders, then uh, there's a point where you don't want any more traders, but this is what this example would do. Then in the, if you had a fifth trader and they had a minus, then you have a, a net uh, pips for that day of 130. Now, each trader will have good days and they'll have bad days, as we just pointed out. The traders will take turns being the big trader for the day. It's not like they're voting on who's going to take turns. It's just the way it works out. Uh, not everyone is always the best trader, has the most pips uh, during uh, at a given session. We as humans are prone to wander. We're looking around, seeing what's happening. We get off track. We get to something else that looks more interesting to us in the short term. And we keep looking for something better or more exciting than what we're doing. So with the roundtable training concept, you'll be able to stay on task better because you are uh, accountable to your team. You're trading with your team, uh, calling out trades, and some of you will take the same trades and some will enter a little bit later. Uh, but mostly you're on the same one or two pairs uh, trading at the same time. Sometimes it's the uh, pound pair and, the, and the, also the euro pair, both at the same time. Some traders take one, some take the other, but the, the movement is, is uh, something that uh, they're good signals, and so they're all trading and talking things over. There are not many things that are as exciting as making money as a team. Uh, you ought to hear the uh, exhilaration when you have people reporting what they've done for the day, and it was a, a good day of trading. When in reality... The best thing is to understand what works and get really good at it, then hyper-focus on that one thing. Uh, Albert Einstein said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different re result. Well, if it's a poor result and you keep on doing it, that's kind of frustrating. If it's a good result, you would not expect to get a bad result, but then you ought to keep on doing that thing. So if nothing changes, then nothing changes. It just stays the same. If you're not getting the results you would like, you need to change what you're doing. These are generally not drastic changes. They're just subtle, little small uh, changes that to make uh, the big difference. So we for this round table, slots are limited. So think about if this could work or would work or you would be interested in uh, even considering this. You need to ponder the answers to the following questions to see if the, you feel you are ready to move to the next level in your trading. So one question, do I know how to use the MetaTrader trading platform? Some people here may just be relatively new and they're still shaky on the platform. You need to be pretty proficient at the platform or you really were not going to uh, be qualified to even trade with this until you uh, have had some more time with the platform. Do I know what my biggest weakness is? Could I overcome my weakness with a little help? Do I know what my biggest strength is? What is my average pip count per day right now? Could I get 20 pips net a day in the near future? Start out by making 5 or 10 or 8, whatever you can make in a small, and build it up to 20. Can you make 20 net pips a day on average? We know that from our experience that once people start making 20 pips a day on a regular basis, it's not long before they're making 30 or 40 pips a day on a regular basis because they've learned the concepts and they just get better at uh, doing that. Do I have the time to make 20 pips a day? Some people uh, don't have time to take the trades or they uh, are trading smaller too small a time frame for the time they have. And maybe they need to use larger time frames. And so you have to figure out with the way you trade your time, Laban, could you actually make 20 pips a day? Have I traded real money? and made money or at least broken even trading real money? Do I have the support of my family? Uh, we talked to many traders that they have to stop trading because their family is not supporting them. Here are some things that uh, you will be shown how to do to make this a profitable venture for all traders. You'll be shown how to trade the same way the other team traders are trading. We're not having everyone talking a different language. It makes it too difficult. We've 
experienced that in the past where one person's using one method and another using another method. And so none of them are profitable because they're all trying to figure out which is the best trade at the time. And by the time they figured it out, it's already passed. This is all traders are using the same indicators and trading the same strategy. So you'll learn how to set the lot size for a maximum profits. We've done a calculation and figured out that with this uh, concept of trading a, a hub account, that the lot sizes have to be a certain way or else they uh, don't work out right. And learn how to focus on one to two currency pairs during a trading session. You might find three or four on some days, but we found that if we just stay on one or two, then that we're going to make more pips rather than jumping around. Some days we only find one, and other days we have to spend an hour or so before we even find one that's moving because the market has done this big move before we started trading. You learn how to communicate with a team. And if you're talking the same language, that makes it a lot easier to, to call out if someone says this is a certain type of setup. Everyone knows exactly what you're talking about. We can make a custom path for you to follow depending on your situation. Now, there's the path is how to get from where you're at to become a roundtable trader. Here are some of the things you will get as a roundtable trader. You will be trading with some of the best traders in the world. The reason that I say that is if you're making 600 pips a month, you're a pretty good trader. There are many professional traders that, that uh, only pros that they make between four, some of them say a thousand pips a month, and that they're, they're very successful at what they're doing. So if we have individual traders making two, three, four hundred pips a month, they're among the top traders. You'll have between 12 and 15 hours of trading with your coaches each week. You will not be a master trader at this time. In the beginning, you're not just going to jump in and all of a sudden be a master trader, but you'll get the benefits of being a roundtable trading team member in training. So you're just training to be a roundtable trader. You will be making money while you are learning how to trade. Now, this is an example of what you could expect once everything is going uh, smoothly in the team that you're working with. Say you had a $500 account. You can do the, the numbers and say if you had a larger account or however you uh, want to, to figure this out. But say based on a $500 account that you traded 50 cents, that's five mini lots uh, for each, each pip that you traded. And these 50 pips were made each day on, on average. And $25 times 20 days equals $500. You can do the math uh, on any size account that you would want to do. So for the first month, your account is now $1,000 if everything goes according to plan. It could be better. It could be worse. But the potential is that you can do much better if you're not doubling your account each month. Uh, having several traders trade, you'll come closer to doubling it. You may stay in the roundtable trading and roundtable training if you are progressing and following the rules. If you show up once in a while and you don't follow the rules, then you're not going to be able to stay in the roundtable trading group. You have to make an honest effort uh, to become a better trader. We have traders that uh, are working real hard. They're getting better. They're just not quite there. And so we have openings for it's more. Here are some of the things that you must do to qualify to be a roundtable trader. Be able to trade one or more of the three main sessions, either the Asian, European, or U.S. sessions. That's usually when we're trading. The Asian session, sometimes not so much because it is sporadic as to when it moves, and it doesn't move as much uh, most days. Some days it moves uh, really well, but you may not see that because if you're not there every day being bored, uh, many days before the good day comes along, you may not see that. So we don't have a lot of people trading the Asian session, but the European and the U.S. session, we do. Be able to trade live money. You may be learning on demo money, but you have to learn how to trade live money because there's an emotional transition there. If you're interested in pursuing this concept, here's what you need to do. 
you need to send an email to jed at forextradiosecrets.com and you need to either give us a U.S. phone number or a Skype ID this way so we can reach you and give some times that you may uh, be able to, to meet. Otherwise, we'll go back and forth a little bit until we pin down a time that we can get together. This is how we can schedule a strategy session with you. Now, during this strategy session call, we'll create a trading path for you to follow to become a roundtable team trader. Some of it may be uh, preparatory before you even come into the roundtable group. And then maybe some of you are eligible right away to come in. Then we can set a path to go from there to uh, become an actual roundtable trading. But you're in the roundtable training arena. If we feel you qualify, we will give you the cost and the fees associated with being a member of the roundtable group. To be part of the roundtable group, you may not be ready to become a team member right away or right in the beginning, but we'll get you up to speed in a short amount of time. And you'll be surprised. Uh, it's usually a few weeks before people are really talking the language and uh, moving along. If you've had the scanner, you know a lot of the terminology and you can even uh, move in more quickly if you decide to get involved and we decide to that you do qualify. The main requirement is that you need to know how to use the MT4 platform. We will be able to add traders from time to time, but we can only take on two traders right now. So the two that qualify right now that would be interested and then we can add others later uh, depending on uh, if we if and when we have the need. We suggest you don't waste your time and ours by scheduling an appointment if you don't feel you're ready to take the next step in your trading. This video will be posted where you can watch it again so you can see what you need to do. You decide if you qualify yourself to meet those requirements and you are interested. If you are, then you can always get in touch with us the uh, roundtable uh, trading through an email and then we can discuss uh, your next step and the timing of that step. The strategy we're using and teaching is generating tens of thousands of real dollars for traders that follow it exclusively. Meaning if they follow the course, they may not be in the round table, but they are making a lot of money. We have many traders report to us that they don't want to be in the round table. They want to trade by themselves. They can't trade uh, real money for someone else. Uh, or they don't like trading with other people because it distracts them from the way they're trading. And they're reporting making large sums of money. But they do our system exclusively. You can't mix our system with someone else's system and be successful trading with us. The roundtable trading compounds the growth even more than an individual trader. So if these traders are making this money, if they were in the roundtable group, um, they would just get the additional growth from their trading. But everything has to mesh. You have to want to trade in this type of environment. If you're interested, uh, review the questions and see if it is a good time for you to advance uh, with us. Then schedule a call so we can make a customized path for you, either a path to get you up ready to come into the roundtable group or a path to start from where you're at to become an actual roundtable trader. So send an email to jed at forextraysecrets.com and give a U.S. phone number or a Skype ID so that uh, we can reach you and get together.